what's your take on bank of america if you have an account i want i would love to hear from you and if you don't why not <laughs> i mean why why even bank of america man one of the most garbage banks in the world by the way do you know that they actually banned me yeah <laughs> i can't believe this i can personally relate to this so watch this okay let me actually read real quick bank of america boycott calls grow after mega accounts closed so this is not a political channel i'm going to show you a point here it's very important so bank of america boycott calls state financial offices put bank of america on notice for allegedly debanking conservatives wow bank of america post strong adjusted profit but the stock drops why do you think so because okay boycott right i'm actually gonna read this one here watch this this is posted on april 19 latest Okay. Bank of America is facing calls for a boycott over allegations it is closing accounts of customers based on their political views. Multiple mega profiles and Republicans have criticized the bank in recent days over claims which have been denied by the company that is allegedly engaging in a practice known as debanking because of customers' religious and political beliefs. Debanking is happening live, ladies and gents. And where am I going with this? CBDCs? Yeah, it's coming. Okay. And I, I don't talk about this in this channel. On this channel, it's on my crypto channel, on the Unapologetic Rebel. It's more of like modern finance. If you're interested, just stay tuned. I will actually break it down how Swift is doing this behind the scene, and they have planned to introduce CBDC in the next 12 to 24 months or so. Slow and steady. Yeah. It's crazy. And I will discuss how to get around it, over it, or whatever. I'm not too sure about it yet. I have myself have to research and figure out go whether you should go off grid, <coughs> excuse me, whether you should go off grid or hybrid. We'll figure that out, okay? But this is real. So now let me tell you my story. How Bank of America actually closed my accounts. I got job scammed. And I kid you not, I'm not making up anything, okay? I was that innocent. 2013, end of 13, when I graduated, I couldn't find a job. Information systems, computers, com well, Bachelor of Science, information systems. We have decent GPA, 2. Point, well, it was 2.8 or something, 9, I guess. Not too sure. Very decent, all right? Tried to get whatever kind of job one day i believe i found something on it was on some of the i'm not too sure if it was craigslist it was somewhere there okay some board some forum and i just got out of college i was desperate oh man you're supposed to be so smart because you call out scammers and said man i fell for scams too man hey it doesn't work that way i mean i'm a student of life i learn i i can fall for things and i can tell you one thing that greed is number one one of the causes because greed and desperation so was i greedy well i'll let you decide judge that in a few once i tell my story but yeah i can tell you one thing for sure it was desperation getting out of college not finding a job i have to pay my student loans and everything blah 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 my rent and everything I have to keep up wow so i find this job in one of the forums okay it was about so-called they will send me some college students are going to come in my campus so i have to do some research about the housing market and whatever and provide like eight page report and they were supposed to pay me every week by check or whatever okay <laughs> I kid you not, I've literally done the research. I, I couldn't even smell that was a scam by like anything. Or maybe I was just desperate, like I said. Once, once you're desperate, you don't see much. You're just willing to take whatever opportunities that come your way. So I get contacted and these dudes, they want to contact me through Yahoo Messenger. I was like, doesn't make sense. And yeah, that time Yahoo Messenger, I'm talking about 2013, kind of 14, right? Yahoo Messenger, you have AIM, ICQ, not much, but yeah, we had Skype and main thing. So I was like, yeah, I use it. I can get on it. And then they started talking. He or she, whatever, they started talking. He's like, hey, this is the information. I want you to do this report and we will send you a check. Okay. We will send you a check. And they were sending me a check even prior to me getting the work done. So hey, this is your advance. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll get the check. What am I supposed to do with it? Take that check and deposit in your bank. And then let us know. We will give you further advice or whatever right i'm like okay whatever man listen you must be thinking right there are a lot of fake checks and stuff i wish i knew a lot more of course i have ideas about scam to some extent but i didn't know i would be a victim of this thing i literally by that point i thought it was still legit so here hear me out okay so obviously as like most people immigrants moving to usa bank of america yeah let's have an account so I, that's the only bank i have i had two accounts wells fargo but wells fargo was Wachovia. So Vakovia, Wells Fargo bought Vakovia. So I had Vakovia. 
right? A student account, Wachovia, and I had business, um, uh, Bank of America checking, so I could pay my rent, basically. That's my main purpose. So there was a brunch, which obviously has such a, one of the worst ratings. And this is what happened, okay? So I deposited the check in my ATM, not the bank, ATM. For some reason, it's on hold, okay? I was like, okay, let it be. They are verifying. I have no issues with that. I don't care. This, in the meantime, they contacted me on Yahoo Messenger and said, hey, what's the situation? I'm like, I don't know. It says hold. Why, why is it on hold? Can you just explain? He's like, all right, don't worry. Give, another, give it another day. I said, okay. Give it another day. I was like, it's still on hold. I said, how about you do this? How about you go to the bank, ask them, because it shouldn't be like that. I was like, okay. Hey, literally, check this out. I drove because it's not. it was five minutes away from my place, all right? So I drove there and then... Uh, I was put in a line and then he said, the manager wants to talk to you. Okay, no problem with that. I sit down in this small cubicle with the manager, right? She And she was like ex- asking me a few questions like, so what happened? Like, uh, where do you get this from? I'm like, hey, this is where I work. Look at the emails here. And uh, they sent me a check. I deposited it. They said it's supposed to work and cash out and that's it. And then after some time, she was like, okay, I see, I see, I see. And believe it or not, by that time, I have still zero clue, okay? Then obviously when she started doing some fraud research, she's like, did you ever had a chance? Like, did you ever thought about this, that it could be a scam or fraudulent check? I was like, I don't know why it should be because I've been contacting them back and forth. And uh, then, then she said, yeah, it is actually a fraudulent check. We can't locate this and this. I'm like, wow. All right. Now what? Then I get a call from the FBI or some other, whatever. Um, I don't even remember some department. Hey, so we need to just confirm what just happened. I was like, okay, this is just happened. All right. Okay, sir, no problem. We may reach out to you again in case if you need it. I was like, okay, no problem with that. Done. Now, the teller calls me in the corner. She's like, please come here. And I had probably $100 and a couple of changes in the bank. bank. She said, uh, we actually have to close down your account. Why? Wait, I'm, I've been a victim of a scam, so-called fraud phishing and fraudulent. Well, I fell for it, right? Yeah, but because of your account got involved with scam, you have to close down your account. And they took some of the changes and gave me in my hand, right? And they're like, I'm like, what am I supposed to do now? How am I going to pay my rent? Because I had no idea at that moment. I could literally open hundreds of other accounts in banks because for me, it was like Bank of America. If they ban you, and they literally said, she literally said, you cannot open any other account in, in our institution, basically in the future. Okay? You can't own, <laughs> my cat is just annoying me again. You can't own any other accounts of any Bank of America accounts, basically. So I'm like, if they ban me, it means I can never do any of these things ever. Man, I freaked out. I came home. I called my mom. I mean, you know, the frustration, not able to find a job. Then you get job scammed. And then the Bank of America shut down your account. Man, I don't know what I have to do, what I have to deal with one after the other. Believe it or not, it's ridiculous. That taught me a few things. Okay. If you look at this right now, okay, look at this here. They can demand anybody. Ladies and gents, it is scary. And if Bank of America can do this, what if other banks could start? Do- I mean, hey, what are the chances? And when CBDCs come, that's why I told you, right? Hold a thought for a second. Because CBDC is pretty much scary. Because let's say, and I don't know how to get over that. If your employer says, I'll pay you through CBDCs because the easiest way. And now they know the ledger, they know where you're putting, spending your money. So if they see that you're donating to somebody or you bought a firearm or you bought this and that, they can say, hey, you know what? We don't like what you just did. So we're going to cancel you. We are debanking you. What? So this is scary, ladies and gents. It's not just Bank of America. It can just happen to any other banks. And that's why it's wise to have alternatives. Whether you want to talk about crypto, whether you talk about this, just it's wise to have alternatives, multiple. Metal, a little bit of this and that. And spread it across multiple different accounts. I see a lot of people who has only one account, which is fine. One account and they hold like millions of dollars or 250,000 over that, which is not FDIC insured. That's scary. So yeah, if you have a lot of money, you'd rather spread it across different accounts and yeah, keep it safe, believe it or not. And it's, it's crazy when I see scammers, the ones I call out, they take, they actually are more careful than average Joe's. They're doing whatever to protect their scam money. Can you believe this? They have shell companies and shelters just to protect their scam money. And we, who are working hard, don't even care much. Why? 
So anyways, I just wanted to put this out there real quick. Don't want to drag this long. I just hate Bank of America. I, I believe it's the worst bank in this you, uh, world, literally. Their customer service sucks. You just have to go and stand and um, walk, what? Like stand there for an hour or whatever. And then they come call you up and because you're a victim, they close your account. I mean, kidding me? Disgusting. And it's not about mega or whatever. If they can do for one political side because it doesn't align with them, they can do with anybody. Hey, I don't like your skin of your color. So yeah, out. Hey, I don't like the way you speak. Out. I don't like the way you look. Out. What's your opinion on this? Just curious. And what are the bankers? Uh, bankers. What are the banks that you, you know, are vouch can vouch for? I don't think there's one in my mind. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next vid.